Y'all, am I centered? I don't know if I'm in the middle. I'm trying to be in the middle. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So you guys might know me from my flight attendant content or also from my Amazon hauls. These are my favorite videos. I have so much fun just shopping around and sharing with you guys all of the goodies that I bought. And I recently did this fall video and y'all loved it. Y'all loved it so much. I was like, all right, let's do a part two. And y'all, my camera is quaking. I'm not even gonna lie. I did the absolute most. I'm looking around me and I have so much stuff. This is my best haul yet, but it's also my biggest haul yet. And my camera already, she plays games with me. She likes to die. She likes to overheat. She likes to let the lens fall off because this one, you can't actually attach a wide angle lens. So I'm, I'm a little scared. I really am, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, we're going to power through and just go get a snack, go get a drink. Cause we're going to be here for a minute, but you will not regret it. It's so good. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive into the first product that I am obsessed with, but also the sponsor of today's video, which is Way. So the first thing from Way that I'm absolutely obsessed with is their shampoo and conditioner because you guys, I cannot explain it, but this smells so stinking good. It's like the best smelling smell I've ever smelled. You know when somebody walks by you and they just smell like so fresh and clean, not like in an overly perfumey way, but just like, I, I can't explain it. It just smells ridiculously good. This is it. Like if y'all could like bottle the scent of like that clean girl aesthetic scent, this is her. This is for the medium hair. I also like to use the thick hair as well. That's currently in my shower right now. And then I also have their fur baby shampoo because y'all know we have five dogs. And I thought, I really did. I was like, they're probably gonna cut corners because it's just like dog shampoo. And I've used lots of dog shampoo, obviously with five dogs. No, they, they came in clutch. I just got a new bottle of this stuff because clearly, clearly I'm running out. This is the leave-in conditioner. I love this so stinking much. I like to spray it on my hair um, all over after I get in the shower because my hair is naturally curly. So it needs lots of moisture. I'm also obsessed with their volume spray just to spray it in, in the roots. And then I saved the best for last and you guys this stuff is like secret sauce it's really like magic in a bottle i can't even explain it like even after the first time i ever used this stuff i was just like shocked shocked at what it did to my hair and this is the hair oil and this stuff is so amazing it's so amazing i like to put this on like after i get out of the shower but also i like to put it on just when i'm doing my hair i mean this stuff is like versatile and you guys like i said my hair is naturally curly and i'll, I'll be real with you guys i don't take care of my curls nearly the way that i should not even close because it's just so hard i thought when i was going on like that little curly hair journey which was very short-lived i thought it was going to be easier and it was actually 10 times harder to really take care of the curls the way they need to but after using this like when I looked at my hair and I didn't even like scrunch it I didn't do nothing to it I just let it air dry and go and the amount of my natural curl that came back especially in like the underneath that was like spiral curled which is usually how my hair actually is I was just shook how one product already like brought that out was just insane and if you're not sure where to start or what your hair type is way has a quiz online that you can take and it's super easy and it'll help point you in the right direction so if y'all want to get on your way to healthier and happier hair right now, if you go to T H E O U A I.com slash cat Nesbitt, you'll get 15% off your entire order. And again, that is T H E O U A I.com slash cat Nesbitt. Once again, thank you to way for sponsoring today's video. You guys are absolutely amazing, but without further ado, let's jump into all of the Amazon goodies. Oh no, there's a dog with a collar in my front yard. Okay. Pause. Pause, please. Okay, sorry you guys. So it turns out that was like my neighbor's dog from like down the street, so all's good. But back to where we were. So since we were talking about like bath and shower stuff, I feel like that's the perfect segue into these next two items. So this next item, I know I've shared it before, but I had to get a new one. So I feel like it's the perfect time to share it again because when I say this product changed my life, I don't say that lightly, like this product changed my life. It is so good because I actually learned from Dr. Dre that deodorant does not get rid 
bit of body odor. It just kind of lays on top of it. So a product that actually gets rid of body odor, which is caused by bacteria and sweat, is this stuff. This stuff right here, penoxyl. So it's the benzyl peroxide in it. Now I still wear an antiperspirant to help with sweat to not create new bacteria, but you wanna be washing your armpits with this. Just be careful because it does have bleaching properties. So it can stain your towels. So use a white towel whenever you're drying off. But it looks like this and a little bit goes a long way. I promise you, if you're somebody like me who has to apply deodorant like five, six times a day because you'll start smelling yourself and then I'm like, Ugh. this is the stuff. This is the game changing stuff. Now, another thing that I just used, I have it on me right now is this tanning stuff. So this is from Bondi Sands. It is their aerated self tanning foam one hour express. I've heard the ultra dark is also supposed to be like really, really good. But you guys, I don't know if it's just this tanning stuff or if it's also the fact that I've started using um, this stuff called Osea, which it's like a body oil. I have body balm, body scrub from them. And it's so nice. So my skin is a lot more moisturized than, than in the past because I've kind of neglected that. But this stuff is like the first time I've worn self tanner where it didn't come out like absolutely patchy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a tan for me because I'm very, very fair skin. It's just like a light natural tan. And I think I could actually tan again if I really wanted it dark. But y'all, it's like, it's not splotchy. And I'm known, I'm known, I've, I've said it. It's on brand to have just like a bad spray tan because I have bad spray tan habits. But this stuff said, we don't care, it's gonna be good. It also has a guide in it where most of the tanning stuff that I've been doing lately does not have a tanning guide. It's been like clear tanning mousse, so when you apply it, you can't see where you've missed and where you've actually applied it, which I think is also part of my problem. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. Okay, so what's next? Let's go ahead and segue into jewelry, shoes, and clothes. So for jewelry, I actually have two pieces. One of them is this ring right here, which is absolutely stunning. I love it. I think I've bought this once before from them and I loved it so much and I don't know where it went. I have a bad habit of that because y'all, my wedding ring and my Texas A&M class ring, Somebody at a hotel got real lucky because I'm real bad about taking them off and setting them somewhere and losing them. And that's basically what happened. So I love this. I think it's stunning. Like if, if I were to get a wedding ring again, this is most likely what it would look like. But at this point in time, like if my husband and I don't care, nobody else needs to care, you know? Okay, now the next piece of jewelry that I got, y'all, I left it in the packaging because the packaging took me by surprise. I don't think I've ever seen jewelry packaged like this. It was so nice that I was like, I have to show you all what it looks like. Now this is an Hermes inspired piece. In my last Amazon haul, I did have a couple in there and I have two in this one, which I'll show you the next one after this. But um, for this, you like slide this part out and then look at this, like it has like a, plastic thing that it's just like in there. Like, I feel like if you give this as a gift, it just looks so nice. And then you'll open it up, I guess right here. You just click it open and here it is. And it's a bracelet because I am a bracelet girly. Don't get me wrong, like I like a good necklace, a good ring, but like if I'm gonna wear jewelry, it's going to be bracelets. Like I don't even take these off. I love them so much. Like all three of these came from Amazon, but this is what it looks like and how stinking pretty is she and this is my favorite bracelet to wear are the ones that like come on and off just like this i don't know why but i just like them 10 times better they're so comfortable so i felt like this is going to be the perfect addition so it just opens up easy just like that and then we'll go ahead and put that on and then it just kind of clicks back into place and there she is. Now into the next Hermes inspired piece, I got this scarf. Now it is a lightweight scarf. It's definitely like a transitional scarf piece. Like if you want like a scarf, like a winter scarf, this is not your girl. This is the girl that says like, I'm aesthetic, I'm cute and I am here. And that is this, it is so, pretty it just looks so expensive it actually feels really expensive i love the colors and it is um reversible it's like reversible so you can go either this way with a little bit more of the black showing or you can go this way with more of the cream now this has a loop right here with one of the h's so the way that you would wear this is you would go ahead and take it around 
and then take one side of the scarf and take it in here and then just slide it through. And then I also got these shoes that I feel like I have to show these next because when I say the color match is insane, the color match is insane. Like I didn't, I didn't expect that and I didn't actually didn't anticipate it, but like these two things belong together. I shared them on my Instagram because y'all, I was like, I am literally like throwing up at how stunning and cute and classic these are. They are so adorable. Like, look at it. Just like, look at her. She is giving old Hollywood glam. This is like the transitional like shoe that it's just so pretty. It's sick. Like, it's so stunning. These are absolutely adorable. And then when I saw the color match and I was like, wait a darn minute. Like these two things like belong together with like a nice black outfit and like a petticoat. Now, speaking of shoes, these aren't really shoes. They're uh, slippers because I have said it, <laughs> I've said it a few times to you guys, but I am a slut for some slippers. I just am like blankets, robes, slippers. There is a fly that is like, just make me mad. Like we're about to duke it out here in a minute. If that thing doesn't back up. <laughs> But y'all, like even like this blanket, y'all see the one that Todd's on? Like this is like that faux rabbit fur blanket that I shared in the last haul. I also shared this one, but this is one that I usually use in the morning when I'm drinking my coffee in here. Um, but this one, anytime that I leave it on the couch, all five of my dogs are obsessed with that blanket. If that blanket is on the couch, I promise you one of those five dogs, if not multiples, will be on that blanket. It is just so good, it's so soft, even I'm obsessed with it. But anyways, okay, back to slippers. I picked up two different pairs of slippers that I'm obsessed with. One of them actually, I don't know that she's giving fall. She's kind of giving like, for me, year round, because it's just my kind of funky style, but more like, probably summer, but I don't care. I don't care. I've been eyeballing them for a minute. They're from UGG and a little lesser known hack that is if you are in like a smaller women's size, like a five, a six, a seven, maybe an eight, maybe an eight, but you can actually wear kid sizes and then you can get a better deal, especially on things like Uggs that are a little bit more expensive. So I saw these in the kid sizes and I finally, I finally did it and I am obsessed. Like look how stinking cute these are. Like they're all, oh, they are just everything. I love them so much. They have like the little Ugg strap. Like they're just so stinking cute. Like they look, they look like this. Now, normally I'm a seven, so I would wear a five in kid sizes, but I looked at the size chart and it looked like this time around for some reason, the six actually matched my seven. So I picked these up in a kid size six and they're just so stinking cute. I love them so much. And then I also picked up another pair. Now that I have them here, I will like to recommend to you guys, size up like a half size if they have it or just a full size more because they fit on me, but my foot is at the back of the shoe. So if I were to go do it again, I'm too lazy to be returning stuff. But if I were to go do it again, I would size up just a little bit, but they still fit. Um, and that is these little strawberry print. Like, how cute. So the next thing I picked up were a bag of socks that you guys, okay, so I'm about to show y'all a sock and I'll be honest, I just grabbed one right out of the hamper. Should I have grabbed a clean sock? Yes, but is that my style? No, your girl's a little lazy, so I'm gonna grab the first thing I see, but these socks, I am obsessed. Y'all see me wearing them all the time. Like I wear them an ungodly amount. I love them so stinking much. I love like the height on them with like a white sneaker and some leggings. They're so comfortable. And they are like a little bit of a thicker material. They're not like those very thin flimsy socks. Like they feel like a good high quality sock. And I'm obsessed. And I'm obsessed so much that I was like, I need more of these, but I saw they had two other colors. They have pink. I wear pink occasionally, but like I don't think enough to like have a whole pack of pink socks but then they also had gray. So they look just like this and I just think they're so perfect and so cute. They're like that light gray color. And again, they have like the two lines on them and I just love these. I love them so much. They're so versatile and just so fun for an outfit. So I grabbed a, another pack. I think there's like six pairs and a pack. Okay, now let's move into some clothes. So I feel like we should start with the set that I am wearing right now and it is so comfy. Y'all, this set went viral. I don't really think it went viral in this black shade. I think it was more in like the tan color. It was like tan with the white on it or it was tan with the black. Were these black? 
I don't know, I'll, I'll pop in a picture so you can see it. But it, it was more this one that everybody just went nuts over, which I think is super cute. But I kind of wanted something a little different. So I went with the black because that's just, it's my favorite color. It's the color of my soul. I just love it. So I went with this one and it has like the white detailing and I just think it's so cute and it's so comfortable. I love the little peekaboos over here and on the pants as well. Now I will say I am five foot and it's a little bit long. So I feel like if you were like, 5'2 to 5'4, it's gonna be perfect. After that, it's gonna be more of like a capri style, I would go ahead and guess, but I also like to wear mine up to my belly button. So if you don't wear your pants like that, if you pull them down, then they'll probably be even longer. But for me, I love a good high-waisted thing, like anything to tuck in my gut, I'm gonna be doing it. Now on this one, the one that a lot of people were going for was like the white or the cream, and I definitely had my eye on it as well because it was so stinking cute but that one wasn't gonna be prime, so I just didn't do it. I was like, I'm gonna go with the green, which is definitely giving fall vibes. So actually, I think this was like a good choice. There's so many different colors, and again, it's so comfy, and it has some length to it as well. Now, the next thing I went ahead and got was this vest. It's like an oversized like jean vest, and a lot of people, again, were going for like the blue, and I actually was really hoping for the blue, but it wasn't prime, so I didn't think it would get here in time to actually shoot this video with you guys, because I have to go fly tomorrow for work. So I went ahead and just opted for the black, but I might actually go back and order the blue as well. And so it looks like this. It is a very lightweight jean material, if y'all can see that. So it's not like a heavy denim and it's really lightweight. I feel like this is a great transitional piece. Now it does come with a hood on it, but the hood actually can detach because it has um, little buttons right there and it like goes all the way around. You can see what I mean. So you can definitely take that off and it gives like a little bit of a different vibe as well. Now these next three items, I actually shared them in this reserve video that I did where I showed y'all what a day in the life of a flight attendant on reserve is really like and all the things that goes into it. I like broke down all that information. So if you're interested in flight attendant life, that's definitely a cool video to check out. But these actually showed up on that day. So I put one of them on and then I also shared them with y'all on that, but I'm gonna share them again and that is like the cutest little lounge sets. They are absolutely adorable. They are so soft. They just feel so nice and they have like a lining on them. So they are like a nice material and I could not decide on the color. So I went with like this brown and then it has like the little short sets that go with them as well. And I picked mine up in a small, but anything that I'm sharing with you guys, I'll link it down below in the description box, but any clothing items and stuff, I'll, I'll tell y'all what size I ended up getting. And then I also picked it up in this light pink. I've just been like a sucker for this vibe lately. And I just thought it was so cute and it has the little white flowers on it. I also love the little puffer sleeve. So it's like fitted, but like kind of flows over a little bit. And then these are the matching shorts to that one. And then last but not least, I love this one so, so, so stinking much. That is this one right here. And it has like these dark navy blue flowers as well. And I just think it's so cute. And it does have like a lining that's like a brown lining. So it's not see-through. And then these are the matching shorts. Okay, sorry you guys. I had to take a brief intermission because I needed to let my camera cool down because the battery overheated. I need to take the dogs out, feed the dogs lunch, get myself fed. So we're back. Cause when I told y'all this is a big haul, it's a big haul. Also, I bought this on Amazon. So this is like an external battery. So some of y'all told me it should help um, keep my camera from overheating. And you just plug this part in and then plug it into the wall. The problem is, is that when you plug this in, you have to leave the thing open and then I can't put my tripod on it. So that was a fail, but I, I did try to kind of get this camera to cooperate with me, but Honestly, I think it's just time. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new camera. But anyways, back where we left off, I have one thing and then we're gonna jump into a couple kitchen items and then we're gonna move on into some home decor. And y'all, I love me some home decor. It's just so fun for me to find like some really nice items and like make it look fancy, but at an affordable price tag. That's my thing. Most of my house is actually all thrifted. A lot of stuff from Target that's like thrifted as well. So I don't know, it's just my thing. I like to like look and appear like I'm expensive and high end but secretly like I love a good coupon and a good deal it just it, it gives me like like that buzz like no other but also if you guys are enjoying this video if you wouldn't mind give it a big old thumbs up and press that subscribe button I would very much appreciate it, it helps me out a lot it helps this channel out a lot and it's completely free to you guys but all right so the next item Allie actually had sent to my house today and I'm gonna include it because I just thought it was so funny because she knows, she knows I'm obsessed with my press-ons. Like I live and die by the press-ons. Like I don't go more than two days without a new set. And honestly, if I went two days and didn't go set to set, 
that's shocking in itself. Like I have a ton and I love them so much, but she said, girl, you're sleeping on Glamnetic. But I have like a hair on my lip. <laughs> Hopefully I got it. But um, anyways, she was like, girl, you needed to try Glamnetics. But I had like a huge set of nails, like a bunch of them, bunch of them all under my sink. And like, I don't really care about that because I know I'll go through them. I just love them and adore them. But she knew, she's like, if I don't buy them and send them to your house, you're never gonna try them because you already have so many in stock. And so she had these sent to my house. And do y'all recognize this shape? Y'all know I am obsessed with this shape. I actually usually like my gaudy nails. I love fun colors, fun prints, diamonds, rhinestones. I love it all. Like the glitzier, the glamour, the better, the more I love it. But this is a shape that I also go back to all the time. It's just so stinking pretty and so classic because the other thing with Glamnetic is a lot of their stuff is like more neutral, more toned down, which is kind of the opposite vibe from me. So a lot of the stuff like I'm uninterested in, but then when I saw these, I was like, okay, you knew, you knew those were for me. And she swears by these. So I have a pack and we're gonna try these out and it has the glue in there. So if we do love them, I'll just keep using the glue because she also said they have brush on glue that they'll sell separately. And I've been using this glue from Amazon, which a flight attendant put me on and said it went viral on TikTok. And honestly, it's been great. It has been great. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see is the Glamnetic glue gonna be better than the glue I've been using. But anywho, okay, now I'm moving into some kitchen stuff. So the first item is actually a little bit funny. Y'all might remember that I bought these cups. So I love them, they were so fun. And I had my nieces come spend the night at Aunt Kitty's house. And when they did, I gave them each their own. And so they got to put their snacks and their drinks and they were so nice. It also kept them from spilling a bunch of stuff and getting stuff everywhere. And then I sent them home with the cups. Well, then I was like, I want like an adult version of that like I mean I could use theirs but I wanted something a little bit more like me and I don't have to worry so much about spilling like they do and so I saw this thing and I was dying laughing I was like that's actually what I need because I am a late night snacker I love my late night snacks and y'all know I also love um, my cups I got this one off of my Timu haul and I just love it I forgot the straw it's over in the kitchen but I love this. And so basically what this does is it's like a little snack bowl so you can fill up your drinky drink with whatever you want and then take your little snack bowl and it just fits right in there and then sits right on top so you can like put any like snacks you want up here. So let's say that you're doing chips and guac, you can put your little guac and your chips or if you have like um, your sweet and your salty, you can do like peanut M&Ms and popcorn or whatever. And I just thought this is so funny. So you can actually just like sit there and like watch a movie and have your little drinky drink and your little late night snack. Now, if you have kids, I think this one is a better option just because it does help with the spilling. Whereas this, like you're free falling, you know, but I'm an adult, barely. So I think I, think I can handle this one. Um, now the next thing, you guys, when I saw this, I squealed. I was like, ah! Um, this is so stinking cute. I love crock pots. I love to make my crock pot meals, especially in the fall. I use it far more in the fall and winter than I do any other season. But then y'all, when I saw this, I died. Now I picked it up in like this beautiful, like matte green color. There's also a really lovely, like mauvey pink color as well. And apparently these sell out fast. So if you want one, you need to get one, but it is like a portable crock pot, like like for lunch. So what it does is it has like the lid on here that you can unscrew and then inside it has like a leak proof other thing with like a little seal on it and this screws on as well and then you can put your food in here and then you'll screw it on and it's kind of like the hot logic if y'all know what hot logics are because they went like viral in the flight attendant community i definitely have one where you can like plug them in and heat up your food on the layovers well essentially this does the same thing and i think this is also great for like nurses and teachers and stuff like that because the plug is at the bottom and it just wraps on the bottom so it wraps on itself and you can plug it in and then you can like heat up your food so if you if you know your lunch period is right around the corner or whatever you're doing for work you can just plug it in and it takes about 45 minutes and it heats up your food like it gets heated like really nice i've seen people make like their casseroles and put their casseroles in here i've seen people do ramen in here and tons of other stuff and i just think it's so stinking cute i also think this is a great gift idea because we all know christmas is around the corner and if it's flying by anything like september did 
time to start getting your Christmas gifts now, but I just thought that was great. And even for Chip, who like, he works at the tattoo shop and they don't have a microwave or anything, I told him, I was like, just put your chicken and rice and your veggies in here and you can heat it up and actually have a hot meal. Now, moving on, the next thing I got were these beautiful amber um, dispensers. So they look like this and they look so high end because I don't know if y'all noticed, but if you've ever gone to like a ritzy place, I am back with the hair in my mouth. <laughs> I love that I'm talking about like Ritz and glam and blah, 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 and I'm just over here like spitting, like trying to get hairs out of my mouth. Anywho, <laughs> um, if y'all ever see like a high end place, if you go to like a high end, like restaurant, a house, all that stuff, they always have the most beautiful soap dispensers. Tell me I'm wrong. They really do. They always have high end soap dispensers. And I thought these were absolutely stunning. And I thought one for like dish soap and like one for like hand soap would be great. Now they also come with these beautiful stickers definitely measure them out because nothing's gonna be worse than if you put your stickers on real wonky but they come with like these little stickers so you can kind of decide um, what you want even the stickers themselves look so high-end so it looks like this so this one is hand soap you have conditioner so if you want to put your soap and conditioner in here or soap and conditioner your shampoo and conditioner they have the dish soap then they have hand soap um, and then they have hand lotion and then they have shampoo. To go along with these, I also got this, this little um, brush set, and it's so stinking cute. So what you can do is you can store this in here, but you can also put soap and water in here, and then when you're like doing your dishes and stuff, you can like swirl it around, and then actually like wash what you want, and then you rinse this out, and then it just becomes a little storage holder. So you can set these up and then put this right next to them. You can get a tray if you want, or just like set them like right on top. I just think it's something so small and so simple, and it's just such a small upgrade that when you do it, it immediately like upscales your space and just makes it look nicer. Oh, I totally forgot this. Okay, so I have one tech item that I'm gonna share with you guys. I didn't realize it because nothing else was tech outside of like my little battery fail thing, external battery plug-in, whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever it's called. Um, but that is like this little bitsy thing right here. And you guys, I am so excited. So basically what you can do is you can just open it up and it just stores it in the case right here. And it's like a little ring just pop it out and then um, you can like wear it and this can Bluetooth to your phone. So while you're doing cardio, let's say that you're on the treadmill or something, you can just put this on and then you can like click the buttons. So there's like a down and up and you can click the buttons and you can actually watch TikTok and other things and like scroll from your phone from this. So not only can you use it to help you scroll on TikTok, but also it works with the Kindle app as well. So a lot of people like to use it to help flip through the pages as they're reading. And you can use it for hands-free camera and video recording if you like to create content. And then it has its own little um, case right there. And then when it's stored in there, the light goes on and you can just close it. So I thought that was super cool. Okay, now moving on to the next thing. I am obsessed with this. I have had it on ever since I got it. It's just so good. I also think this is such a nice gift idea that people won't know that they want it, but then when they have it, it just, oh, it's so good. Like even my husband was like, that's cool. And that is this little candle light warmer they have different designs so they also have like glass ones so if that's more your style i can like link one of those down below because those are also very pretty i just thought it was so cute and originally i was going to put this in my office because i'm completely redoing my office but chip actually is liking it in the kitchen but basically what you do is you can plug this in and then you can put your candle in the little candle holder spot and then turn it on and it has like a dimmer so you can control how bright it goes or how low you want it and then it melts your candle and that way it keeps the wax melting evenly. You don't have all the soot going everywhere. It's just stylish, it's so cute. And you can just keep this lit. You don't have to worry about like your candles. You have to worry about how long they're lighting and stuff. And it just makes your candles last forever. Like I am obsessed and it also comes with one light. You'll push it in there and then just turn it. And then it comes with another one as well. So it just has like an additional light you can use. And I just think that this is the bee's freaking knees. Speaking of lights, I love candlesticks. I think candlesticks are so simple. I think sometimes less is more when it comes to decor. I like pieces that look 
incredible on their own, but candlesticks I think are one of those things that they just naturally look high end. So I have candlesticks all throughout my house. I have black ones, I have white ones, different candlestick holders. I just think it's a nice upgrade that looks expensive, but it's so effortless. Like you can literally get them at Ikea. But anyways, so for the fall season, I thought these were stunning and I actually like them so much. I might keep them around year round because I'm going to put them in my office, but I think they are screaming fall and winter. You can definitely, these are transitional. They do look very Christmassy as well. And that is these birch candles. I think these are so pretty and they are flameless as well. And they're just so nice. Now they do have a waxy exterior, so they really give like a, a birch kind of look to them, but feel like a candle. And then you'll put in um, two AAA batteries into each of them and they come with a remote control. I don't know if y'all are gonna see that because it sucks in here. It's really hard to see in here, but I'll try to demonstrate in the other room, but they have like a little switch as well where you can turn them on and off from here as well as a timer. And you can also control them by hand. So they have like a button at the bottom. So if your thing is being a little bit wonky, I don't think y'all are gonna see that, but you can turn it on and then hit it again and turn them off. I don't like when decor is just like, I threw up holiday decor. It's not my thing and we also don't have kids, so I don't need to do the whole like loud in your face holiday decor. For me personally, I like subtle little things that will allude to the holiday season. And when you have a couple of them in your house, eventually they just kind of, draw you into the season, which I'll, I'll explain with a couple of the items I got. So one of the things I got was these beautiful gold decorative acorns. Now these are very much a transitional piece to me where you can definitely take these into the winter season as well. You can do like a display with like a bowl and put like little Christmas trees or something in there. I just think these are stunning and beautiful and they're so elegant and so simple and you can just put them in a decorative like bowl dish and I just think they are beautiful. I'm probably gonna put them in my office because I'm trying to finally focus on getting my office together. Since we like bought the house, like the whole house is like still not completely finished. We had like two rooms, like we're still actually three because our bedroom isn't isn't really done either. But we're, we're slowly getting there. It just takes time to kind of like morph things into how you want. And then I also picked up this picture frame for my office as well. And it is so stunning it is so pretty i might take like an antique finish and just run over it so it just looks a little bit better to my liking but on its own it's already so pretty and i just love the shape of it and then i'm also going to be changing the picture in here as well as this is so embarrassing but i'm just throwing myself under the bus um in our living room i've shown like our living room before and how i style the shelves and again everything's basically thrifted in there and there's two picture frames that i have yet to put pictures in they're just empty one has like a picture Picture that came with the frame and it's like turned it's not even turned upright it's turned on its side and the other one's just completely bare I have yet to put any photos in them and I was like girl it's time like it's it's literally time you've almost lived in this house for a year now and so I got these pictures to finally put in there and I think this is such a great hack I don't like family photos I know it's a hot take I, th I think it makes your house look cheap I know I'm sorry I'm sorry, I know people are screaming through the screen. I just do, I think family photos make your house look cheap. I know, I know it's an unpopular opinion. I'm so, it, it just does, it just does. So I don't like family photos. The only photos I have are of my deceased dogs. That is it, that's the only ones I want in my house. But. I am gonna put these in there and I feel like it's just so perfect because as the seasons change, you can change your photos and your frames as well. So that also is just a subtle little way to like make your home feel very seasonal. This set I got comes with five, I believe. So it has two small five by seven prints that look like this. I just think it's so beautiful. And this is gonna be one of the ones I'm putting in the living room. Then it comes with three eight by 11, I believe it's called. So this is one, come on. I don't, I'm hoping the light's gonna work with me. The sun's being a little bit difficult. Another one of the pictures, and again, I'll just put it upwards so you can kind of see. And this is the one that I'm gonna end up putting in um, the living room because the frame sits this way in there. But I just think these are so stunning and they just like really scream fall to me. So it's just kind of like that small little tip of the hat, little nod to the fall season. And then as we move seasons, I'll just change them out. So I just think that's such a fun, unique way. And you can just get like other prints that you like, whether they're on Etsy or Amazon or wherever. Now this next thing I got right here, you guys, I cannot believe that I got this at this price tag. And, and it really didn't have a lot of reviews, so I feel like that's kind of why it's at this price tag. I feel like as more people start buying it, the price is just gonna go through the roof. Um, but these 
are so expensive looking at so expensive looking but at like a good budget and i told you i love a good deal so i picked these up and they are just the most beautiful unique looking bases come on son look at these look how pretty they are these look so expensive and feel so expensive when i tell you it looks like you could have gotten this like at magnolia and waco i love their stuff it looks easily like you could have gotten these from there for like a hundred bucks i'm i'm not even joking y'all so this is the first one and it looks like this and it has like that stone finish and i just think it is so pretty and this is the smaller one of the set and then here is the bigger one and i just love the detailing i love the finish on them like this set i'm so mad at the sun right now but this set is so pretty and so high end like i cannot believe that these were at the price that you can get them so what i'm thinking for these is i bought some olive branches and i think i'm gonna put the olive branches in this one i love olive branches i think that's one of my favorite faux plants i have a black thumb and i also have no time to manage plants so i am such a fan of faux plants and they're getting so realistic nowadays they're just so good so i got some olive branch stems that i think are gorgeous so i'm thinking i'm gonna put these in here and like style them for like maybe on like the front of the table because we're getting a new dining table because our little dining table when we were so broke it was my husband and i one of our first pieces of furniture was our little ikea couch and then after that or i think it was the bed we got a bed first and then we got our ikea couch and then finally when we were able to afford our little dining table it was such a big purchase for us but you guys and we've had it we got it for years now but so it's time for an upgrade and with Chip's family coming, they're big about sitting around the dining table. So we finally ordered this table from Living Spaces and it's so nice. Our house is very rustic. So we wanted like a rustic table to kind of match. So I'm thinking like these will go on the table and then we'll get like some, some warmer tone like uh, placemats or something. That's kind of the vibe in my head. So we'll see once it gets here, but that's what I'm thinking is that I'll take these and put like the faux olive branches in it and then do like um, a table setting thing. Now, speaking of olive branches, another thing I got was an olive tree. And y'all, I actually already own this olive tree. It's in this room right here next to me. And I love it so much. I was like, I kind of want to put one in the living room or maybe in the office. I don't know where I want to put it yet because I kind of want it in two different places, but I love it so much. And I feel like it is such a good deal because it's a six foot olive branch tree. And it's, it's just, beautiful it's gorgeous like let me let me just uh stand up and show you so this is what it looks like and i think it's so pretty i even love the basket at the bottom and i just like that you can even fluff this out i haven't fluffed this one out just yet like i have my other one i just like a little bit more fluffing um but it's so easy to put together as well because if you see um, right here, it just has like two pieces and you'll just put this piece on top of it. So even if you're somebody that kind of lives alone, this is so easy to install by yourself. But I just think it's so pretty. It looks so high end at such a great price for a faux tree. And this is what my first one looks like. So it's a little bit more fluffed out in the middle. And then again, has that same base. And I actually spent more money. I thrifted this and I spent more money on it and thought I was getting a good deal on this. And little did I know it was selling on Amazon for cheaper than what I thrifted it. So I just think it's such a pretty little tree. All right, and that is everything I have for you today. So once again, everything will be linked down below in the description box. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you did like it, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up, pressing that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.